Welcome doctors. This is Management Modules and thanks for being an elite member of our pod group. I want to talk a little bit today about staff, about your chiropractic technicians. It's about the people who create, help you create the culture of attraction, compliance and fulfillment in your business. They are indeed key. They're not just people with a job, they're people with a passion. As you can tell, I'm a big fan of Michael E. Gerber. Not only am I honored to be his co-author of The E-Myth Chiropractor, why most chiropractic practices don't work and what to do about it, but I'm also an, uh, a member, founding member of the Michael E. Gerber Partners, an alliance of business owners and industry people destined to change the face of economics and throughout the world by getting strong small businesses. One of Michael's lighter books that I have read over three times at least is the book, the, the Most Successful Small Business in the World. And in that, he talks about principle number six, which means and says that your business is a school. Your business is a school that and where the employees are the students. So in your chiropractic office, your chiropractic practice, your chiropractic practice going to the business. It is a school where these people that you hire, you recruit, hire and train are motivated as a student would be motivated. They have the will, the intention and the determination to learn and to grow. That's the number one prerequisite or we don't get into a relationship with that particular individual. They can be great people, but if they don't have the will, intention, and determination to learn and to grow as your business and your vision grows and your mission grows and your purpose grows and your dream grows so that you can take that to scale, then you can't play. You have to have that. And most of the time, doctors, my dear doctors, is you create a staff infection. It's iatrogenic, just like other staff infections. It means you did it. You created it. Either you didn't set it up in the beginning right, your attitude was maybe they'll just get better as time goes, or maybe if I just over-delegate and under-train, it'll somehow just work out. Remember, business never just works out. It has to be planned. It has to be orchestrated. It has to be um, everything, not, not only the I's dotted and the T's crossed, but everything in a nice big bundle because of one important aspect the patients. The patients need you to deliver on your promise to them every day. And with the right team, you win this game for the patient. With the right team, you manage the work that needs to be done in the business and the work that needs to be done in the healing process, the clinical systems in your office. So, that's right, people are, the, are an answer, but it's the right people doing the right things that separates a struggling practice from one that is creating a culture of such enormous attraction that it creates a tipping point where it is actually impacting the community and fixing a broken healthcare system, one office, one town, one community, one state at a time. Get that right? and a lot else follows.